everyone this is Tanya here with memory lane keepsakes and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for taking our time to join me for another video today and if you are new to my channel I hope you choose to stick around by clicking the subscribe button if you like the content here on my channel here on my channel I choose to show a lot of shopping hauls and also tell you guys how you can save when you're shopping and also some things to know when you're shopping and what to look for I also share a lot of projects that I create using the things that I haul as well as I do a lot of video responses to recognize other YouTubers, Instagrammers, as well as TikTokers and I love to be able to showcase different things here on my channel and I also sometimes share family things as well. So thank you so much for tuning in everyone. Today I am here to share an Etsy haul. Now, I don't go on Etsy that much, but it's something that I really wanted. And you guys know I love the Tim Holtz inks. The Distress Art Size is one of my absolute favorites and a must-have here in my craft space. So I went on there because they were sold out in so many different shops. I didn't want to miss out on getting these, which I know they were restock on, but I still found a great deal. And I'm so glad that I was able to go on Etsy and get these inks. Cause it led me to an awesome shop which is called silver owl supply they are on etsy so make sure you check them out it's silver owl supply .com. i went on the shop and i located her store and i was really happy to go in there because i got the inks and everything i wanted so i went ahead and invested in the new tim holtz savage patina distress bundle and she had an awesome deal going on as well one of the things that I can absolutely say about this company is the fact the way they packed everything. If you have ordered these inks before, you will know sometimes you may get a packet, um, not on purpose, that may have leaked out a little bit. Um, so this particular shop right here, they had it packed so well. So this is how they had them packed. They had them inside of these little individual bags here. And I have more inside the box and it also had bubble wrapped around all of the um, the Distress products which was really awesome and that's how they should be packed. So I went to first speak on that because they packed it so well and she's also included a little special note in here to tell me thank you for shopping with her shop. So I am so pleased with how everything came packaged. That's the first thing. And now let me go ahead and share what I received and you guys can see this new color so this is what the new color looks like this is the distress outside savage patina this is the new tim Holtz distress color so i'm really loving this it's kind of like in the green bluish type family and i love the way this looks because now this completes my set and of course it keeps coming out with new colors and i keep buying them <laughs> so don't we all but i love his inks and i wouldn't speak about them if i really didn't like them so this is the Distress outside ink there and then I have the refill for it which is this little bottle right here um, this is the refill for the Savage Patina for the outside and then I also have the Distress Ink Savage Patina in this ink pad here and this one also comes with a refill as well this is the refill for this one here. You can see the little dauber here at the top versus the Distress Outside has a little cap. So that's the difference between the two if you was ever wondering. In addition to that, I also have the Distress Paint, which is phenomenal. So I don't own all the Distress Paints, but I do have quite a few colors and I'm really happy with the ones I have in my stash. The inks is something that I use more of anyway. And then I also have this beautiful, awesome embossing glaze. And I have not used my embossing glazes yet. And I really want to get, you know, to that. So that way I can showcase what I create with those. Because I've been saying I want to use them. So these right here are going to be phenomenal. Because I love what they do. I'm going to be making my color palettes really soon. With all my Distress inks. 
And then I also have some of the sprays, starting off with the Distress Outside Spray. I have this awesome bottle here. And I love the sprays to do a lot of splatter effects. And also just to color, color up an image really quick. But it can be used in other ways as well because you can also mist with them. And also use them through stencils, which is really cool. So that's that. And then we also have the Distress Spray Stain. So that's this one here. And then you just have to give your bottle a good little shake to mix it up a little bit better because some of the color separates a little bit. But again, I'm so happy with these inks. And last but not least, I also have one of the Distress Ranger Collector's Pins. And this is the Savage Patina pin here. So I only own two of them. I have this one right here and I also have the Kish Flamingo. I didn't invest in the other ones. This one right here, um, I have this one because it came with my kit that I ordered. And so I'm loving this. These pins um, from what Tim mentioned in his video, they won't be around really long. So you have to grab them if you see them, if you really want them. Um, that's something that they, some of them come in sets. So he did mention some of them are coming in sets and he's not sure how long they would be out. But as long as supplies last, I believe. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel here. And I'm so happy that I was able to showcase the new Distress Outside, which is the Savage Patina. It's a beautiful color. And I'm so excited to pull these out and play with these and showcase what I create. You guys have a fabulous day. Continue to be blessed as always. And happy crafting. Bye-bye.